Today in the news, the first 6 nanometer GPU is coming super soon, and Intel teased a pretty cool feature. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Before that, let me take a second to thank today's video sponsor, WhoKeys. WhoKeys is where you can buy keys like this one for Windows 10 Pro. Get yourself a license with that link down in the description and click buy now and enter the code BTS25 for 25% off. And then you just submit your order. And once you're through with your payment and you receive your key, go to your computer, click on the Windows button, type in activate and update or change your product key. It's that simple. Let's get started with with AMD. So the RX 6000 lineup really shook up the GPU market in a big way. And while it was in a very low quantity and a very scarce uh, group of cards to acquire, the performance did surprise most of us. AMD finally had something to compete against Nvidia's Titan series, excuse me, RTX 3090. And that was all thanks to its new and improved RDNA 2 architecture based on the seven nanometer process. In the next generation or Navi 3X, the red team is also planning on doing the same. So far, all we know about the Navi 3X is that uh, it will be split into two groups of GPUs. One of them is the highest end, Navi 31 and Navi 32. These two chips are the big boys that would utilize AMD's multi-chip design, similar to their uh, MI200, but it would go one step further and stack a bridge between the two that would act as the IO and the infinity cache. Yes, that means AMD is taking their 3D vCache technology onto the GPU and they're taking it a step further. The next group is Navi 33. This one would have a single chip and according to current rumors, would compare with today's best of the best from AMD, the 6900 XT. Now, that's the kind of generational leap that we really wanna see. In any case, the higher end Navi 31 and 32 would have two manufacturing processes, one at five nanometers for the main GPU and six nanometers for the IO and the uh, cache chip. The Navi 33 chip, on the other hand, would be built entirely on the six nanometer process. Well, according to current rumors, Navi 33 would not be the first one on six nanometers. According to a source at videocards.com called Disclose Susan, weird name, Navi 24 would be the first. Yep, that's Navi 2X. And these GPUs are coming early next year. Specifically, six nanometer would be used on the RX 6500 XT and RX 6400. The uh, N6 process from TSMC would allow for up to a 20% increase in transistor density and improved power consumption. Unfortunately, this is still a lower end GPU. So don't expect the 6500 XT to beat a 6600 series card. This is more of a test testing grounds for AMD. In terms of availability, TSMC did say earlier in the year that N6 would surpass their N7 process capacity by the end of this year. So it might actually be more available than we think, at least more available than whatever we have now. Going back to the 6500 XT and 6400, these new cards would be coming very soon. They would be available on January 19th, so a couple of weeks after CES. And while the 6500 XT will be available to buy on store shelves, the 6400 would be restricted to OEMs only. Now, a couple of weeks ago, the same source, Disclose Susan, said that AMD is planning a refresh for the 6000 series of cards called RX 6000 S sort of like Nvidia Super. Whether these two lower end GPUs are it, we don't know, but it sure would be nice to have a uh, kind of refresh on a manufacturing node that has more capacity. I'm not saying that it would end the shortage, but it would definitely make them more available. Also in the news, we got Intel. Raja, GPU dropper Kuduri, had a live stream with uh, streamer Dr. Lupo, where he shared some interesting information about the Arc GPUs. Not only is the company working hard on their gaming GPUs, but they're also taking the Nvidia approach with uh, specific software for their cards. For example, he teased a sort of remote PC feature specific for Arc GPUs. It would be a way to use a friend's PC to try a game, sort of like cloud gaming, but 
peer to peer, I guess. Now, this isn't coming in 2022, but it was a way for Raja to uh, tease how the company doesn't just want to make GPUs. They want to build an entire ecosystem. I said earlier that it was uh, the NVIDIA approach, and I said that because NVIDIA has all sorts of things only available on their GPUs. You have the entire, uh, you know, NVIDIA broadcast system, for example, where audio and video are heavily accelerated by their tensor cores. AMD, on the other hand, is a lot less like Intel and Nvidia. When they usually release a feature, it's less impressive, but also it's more open source, sort of like FSR. So I'm filming this on the 25th. And I just wanted to say you guys, thank you very much. It's been a blast making videos for uh, the whole year and I hope I can do this for many years to come. I'm just letting you know that uh, 2022 will be, well, different. I wanna do more than just news. I wanna do reviews, DIY guides, more docu-style videos like I did with the uh, hard drive one or the FSR experiments. Um, so yeah, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, stay frosty. And I'll I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.